Good kitten internet. I'm going there for an eye exam. Woo! And I am done with my visual appointment. Um, turns out, good news, they have a new type of machine at my eye doctor that allows them to not have to dilate my eyes every time. Always nice to be able to deal with a bright sunshiny day and actually be able to see because my visual appointments are almost always in the summer and my sunglasses are broken, so this would have been painful. At least it's not like the first time I did this where I got a call from work during my visual appointment and had to try to do work things from my laptop while being dilated outdoors in the bright sunlight. <sighs> so I am in, I am not in the city of Madison today. I am actually in the city of Fitchburg. Fitchburg is a suburb of Madison, not very far away. I'm at the intersection of Cadis Boulevard, or actually no, it's Cadis Bend, excuse me, and what Royal Wolf Terrace. Okay. Whatever, Fitchburg. Um, it's an area to the south of Madison, basically. And I am walking to a Panera because I want something to eat this morning. I happen to be out and about. Might as well. And I haven't taken a walk today. <sighs> the bad news... Well, the other good news is that this prescription here is actually completely 100% accurate for my vision which explains why I switched over to, hold on. There, that should be a little better. Unfortunately, that means more, editor me has to do some more work. Um, my prescription's 100% spot on with this pair of glasses, which is not my most recent prescription. My eyes like to bounce back and forth. Strangely enough, this prescription never felt right to me when I first got it. I blamed it on the lenses themselves. This is my internet purchase pair of glasses, not the lenses that I would normally pick up. Um, if you're wondering why I sound like I'm breathing a little heavy, it's because Fitchburg has more hills than Madison, and that's uphill. Uh, crossing a street into a park. The park has a gazebo. Gazebo, gazebo. This is a gazebo. Oh, sorry. Gazebo. Anyway, um, uh, that is not really a pedestrian friendly crossing. I will have to walk around. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just taking a short walk. In this case, to Panera, although I could go to a Smoothie King. Uh, haven't decided which one I'm going to yet. Probably Panera. Get something to eat, so I can call for my cab back. Because unfortunately, even though I'm not actually that far away from my home, by a bus, I'm very far away right now. Um, maybe editor me will put up a weird little bus route thing. Maybe not because that might, you know, involve my exact location in my house, which people can figure out already and people can look up the address online to begin with, but um if I was to walk home, it would take me an hour and 45 minutes, according to Google, and that's probably fairly accurate given how hilly it is. And if I were to take the bus, it would take an hour and 15 minutes, assuming that I was ready exactly when the bus departs. Um, waiting around for the bus can actually mean that taking the bus takes longer than walking. That's a very common problem here in Madison. Uh, I know I've mentioned in a previous video, but that's actually one of my biggest complaints about Madison, is just why, why is the public transit so lower than walking? And it usually is, that's the bad part. Let's see. Um, what else? Also, I don't get a chance to walk around here very often. The only time I'm in 
this section of Fitchburg is when I'm out and about with friends, since I have a friend that lives in Fitchburg. Um, which means it's not my time schedule. Today it is. Because today is Friday the... is it 23rd? I guess correctly, yay. It is the 23rd. And I don't have anything else that I have to do today beyond calling the rip-off movers yet again. They were supposed to call me back. They definitely never did. Ah. Walk down a flight of stairs. Because the shopping center is on two different levels. Because the hill, it's built into a hill. So everything's ground level. Okay, Panera's over there, Smoothie King's over there. Unfortunately, what I really want to eat is definitely not open because I'm in Madison. Well, not technically in Madison, I'm in Fitchburg, but close enough for the Madison rule. So the Madison rule. I don't know how many places have rules like this. It's not actually a law or guideline or anything. It's just an observation of the only businesses that are open in the morning before 11 a.m. are businesses that have food. So that would be grocery stores, Starbucks, which Starbucks has food. I'm considering food and drink the same thing in this case. And restaurants. I don't really want a smoothie. Oh, Panera it is. Um, I mean, for, let me rotate. For a shopping center, this parking lot's not particularly egregious in the US, but oh boy, do I hate being a pedestrian in places like this. I mean, here's the sidewalk. Okay, that sidewalk's fine. There's no way to get to the sidewalk from the shopping center. At all, without walking in the road. In fact, the sidewalk doesn't even continue any further. <sighs> so ridiculous. And it's not just this place, it's every place that does this. It is obnoxious. We don't like it. Alright, I'm going to stop recording now.